This video is sponsored by Squarespace, so more on them a little later in the video. Hey folks, Barnaby Dixon here. Uh, I'm joined by my colleague Hi. from the series Barnaby's Bailiwick. This is a musical series. And in the second episode, was second episode? I don't like remembering. I think it was the second episode. We ran into some really severe challenges. <laughs> so the issues stemmed from using this device here. This is a musical accompaniment player. And for every single chord change in the tune, the puppet was required to press two specific buttons to trigger the chord. Uh, it was difficult. Uh, it was a challenge for this guy's footwork. He might be fictional, what? but uh, the pain was... Uh, it was very real. The thing is though, this device is so close to being exactly what I need it to be. Since I'm operating a puppet at the same time, I need all of the functionality easily accessible. So, you know, just with a button push, I'm able to trigger patterns, bring instruments in and out, add fills. You get the idea, perhaps. So this video is going to be about making this device, or rather taking it from a point that's so very nearly perfect, and making it perfect. That's the plan, what do you think? Sounds good to me. Let's do it! I have here the original owner's manual, so hopefully we should be able to... I've downloaded an English manual here and discovered that you can actually set the chord with an external device. So all of these chord buttons below here, uh, we don't need them. For performances purposes, we don't need them. Get out of here. I'm not feeding you to my children. Is that in focus? I think so. So this is the PCB board for a device called the Lestrum. You see there, it's made by a chap called Jason Hotchkiss. He's UK based, a very nice fellow. And uh, this is like a kit that you can assemble yourself and basically make yourself kind of like a mini Omnicord type thing. Worth checking out his website, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, I'm gonna use this as the chord generator in this project. And now he's gonna put it in his, I knew it. So some folks might remember I've used this device before, four years ago, and at that time I made this neat little keyboard for Dabchick to play. And with some fairly extensive wiring, I was able to plug it into the Lestrum and have it harmonize with the device. So the obvious question now is, can this puppet operate the keyboard? Well, initially, no. Check out how Dabchick's actually doing it. So he's jumping and he's landing with his full force on the keys, and that provides enough force to trigger the tactile switches underneath. I'm keen for this puppet to use his arms, and the tricky thing about that is, if you take these two fingers here and push against your palm, you'll get a sense of how much force you can exert. Try it the other way around, and it's a lot harder. That's how his arms are actually iterated. So I had to swap out the tactile switches under the keys for some lighter ones. This actually had the added benefit of reduced key travel. So the key travel meant that there was gaps that appeared between the keys, and he was getting his dangly bits caught between them. So less key travel, less trapped dangly bits. It's a, it's a good thing all around. Amen. I then colored the keyboard neon green so that it would show up under the UV light. And then I became aware of an issue. Now the weaker tactile buttons are easier to push down, but some of them were staying down and they didn't have the power to push themselves back up. Thankfully, I discovered this was just a friction issue with the plastic dividers. So I got rid of those and put in their place scalpel blades actually that I'd blunted. So it's TSA approved, but these are very solid, thin and no friction really and act as a very good divider. So good solution, a strange solution, but a good solution. All right, reassembled with the blades inside. Let's test each one. Good, 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 good. Oh, <laughs> thank God, man. Okay, now back to this little... So quick recap, we don't need these lower buttons anymore, but we do want these ones up here. The problem is they're quite close together. There's not a lot of space between them and they're very low profile too, see? So I made this plate essentially to go on top that has these levers on uh, that the puppet is able to push and trigger the buttons beneath. I've also made this really neat custom case for the Lestrum. It's super durable and it's held together with magnets, uh, strong magnets, but uh, I'm able to open it up very easily and fix anything on the inside if it breaks. It also has these tactile switches in the same type, in fact, that the keyboard has, so very easy to push these buttons down. But there is one problem. Um, the puppet is controlling the keyboard with his arms. He's controlling the accompaniment device with his feet. He has, <laughs> he has no limbs left to control this device. And uh, it feel, I, I, 
I'm kind of willing the puppet just to magic another limb, but I, I know I'm asking the impossible. It just seems so dumb, really, because this is actually the initial issue that I wanted to, to solve, and I focused on all these other little details and didn't and completely neglected the initial task. Alrighty, you folks have put up with quite enough foolishness. Our sincere thanks to our kind patrons for enabling us to invest in these wacky pursuits. All 297 of you. Thanks again. Okay, in keeping with the season, here's a spooky little tune we wrote. Goes something like this. Matter of fact, if you folks want to put some spooky musical suggestions in the comments, maybe we can do another one. Oh, one moment, please. Oh. Howdy, Dabtrick. How can I help you? Well, you can start by keeping your voice down. We're not, we're not allowed phones in rehab, so I started one in the bog, but there's this chunky nurse outside that keeps... Uh, one moment! Okay, what is it you want? Oh, I, I have to do an ad reading. Uh, in fact, give me a backing track, would you? Ugh. Oh, shut up. It's only a short one. Alrighty, folks. Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful online platform from which to create your website. By using Squarespace, you can connect with your audience, generate revenue through gated, members-only content, manage your members, <laughs> send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy-to-use platform. Display posts from your social media profiles on your website, automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Go to squarespace.com slash tabtick and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yes, okay, good lord woman, can a chick defecate in peace? Oh, for pity's sake. <laughs>